Well, the Behavioral Health Urgent Care Center in Knox County is now open. That center will serve as an alternative to jail, providing treatment for people suffering from mental health problems and those addicted to drugs or alcohol. Now, the only way parent patients will be able to get in or out will be if a police officer drops them off or lets them leave. But 10 News reporter Mark Salinger reports some neighbors are worried that center will hurt their community. Mark. Yeah, Robin and John, the new Behavioral Health Urgent Care Center is located right on the edge of a residential neighborhood. While the sheriff's office says there will be around the clock security, some neighbors are wary of the facility opening near their homes. The streets are quiet in this northwest Knoxville neighborhood. But among neighbors, there's a lot of talk about who moved in down the street. I can't lie. I wish it wasn't in my neighborhood. Susan Acevedo has lived in her home for more than five years. Now she's worried the new behavioral health urgent care center just down the street will bring unwanted attention to the neighborhood. Let's we'll say somebody attempts to escape from there and there's shooting and everything going on. That would could be complicated. Yeah. County leaders opened the facility last Friday and it began accepting its first patients Monday morning. It's been billed as an alternative to jail. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says it will be secure. There will be a deputy sheriff in this building 24-7, 365 days a year. Only low-level nonviolent criminals will be housed at the facility for treatment for about three days at a time. Randy Nichols with the Knox County Sheriff's Office says it will actually make the surrounding community safer. You'll see, we believe, more police presence, less time being off the road making the arrest. We run past that every day, me and my roommates. For neighbors like Dakota Sawyer. It's a place for people trying to get help, and I think that's important. The new view from his front yard is welcomed. Any action to try to help people out of whatever bad place they might be in, I think that's important, and I think we as a community should embrace that idea. Now, at any given time, about 16 people will be inside that facility. Neighborhood leaders tell me they are planning to continue meeting with county commissioners and the sheriff's office to ensure their concerns are heard. That includes asking for more fencing to be added around the building. Roman and John. All right, Mark, thank you very much.